Hello, good evening and welcome. Welcome back to our prayers for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. This is part two as we pray from the book of Psalms, that favorite book, the 23rd division, I Shall Not Want. Please allow me to say again that we trust in you to help us share the link that you are watching us on or that you are listening to us on. This is to enable those you know to be blessed by these prayers. We thank you so much for your cooperation. I believe the Lord will bless you for being a channel of blessing to somebody else. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we pray that you will fall upon us tonight even as we pray. We ask you that you will give us the freedom to speak and to pray and to call on God. And as we call, Father, we pray that you will fulfill your promise that when we call, you will answer. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. What I want to do tonight is to complete the remaining declarations of David that was started on yesterday. So what I'm going to do is quickly read through Psalm 23, as we did last time. If you have your Bibles with you, you can turn to the book of Psalms, the 23rd Psalm, beginning to read from verse 1. I know many of you know this psalm by memory. The Lord is my shepherd. The psalm is said in verse 1, I shall not want. And our theme is based on those four words, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That was where we stopped yesterday. Verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. If you are with us yesterday, we uh, prayed on the first four I shall not want declarations. If you are not with us, you can always go to the platform you are used to and we always leave these programs undeleted. There. So you can go on my Facebook page, you can go on the, on YouTube, on, on the church Facebook page. On the church Facebook page is in audio, on the, uh, my personal Facebook page is in video. And you can go to my podcast and listen to it. You can also go on Twitter and listen to it. So we are left with eight more declarations to pray about tonight. Haven't prayed on four of the twelve yesterday. I shall not want. Now the ones we are left to pray about are number one, I shall not want for fearlessness. It says, for though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What a declaration. 
Number two, I shall not want for divine companionship because it said about God, thou art with me. Number three, I shall not want for comfort because it said for thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Number four, I shall not want for sustenance because it said thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Number five, I shall not want for anointing. He said, Thou anointest my head with oil. Number six, I shall not want for overflowing blessing. He said, My cup runneth over. Number seven, I shall not want for abundant life. Because he said, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And number eight, I shall not want for spiritual stability. He said, I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Those are the 12 declarations we have before us tonight. And we are believing God. By the time we finish praying them, all these wants will have to be met by the God who hears prayers and by the God who answers prayers. All these things are easy for God to provide and he will prove himself as a great and merciful provider that we all know him to be. In so many ways, all of us can testify to how God has been good to us in providing for us. So whichever area you have a need, whichever area you have a lack, whichever area you have a want, here we go. As we pray, believe God. You ready? God is ready. Come on, thank God for bringing us back today. Hallelujah. It's another Friday. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify your holy name for bringing us back together again. Come on, bless the Lord. Thank God it's Friday, like you always say. Father, we thank you for another Friday that you have made in which we will rejoice and we will be glad. I want you to thank God for keeping you all walk week long. God has been merciful and gracious in keeping us and in protecting us. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you for being with us and for keeping us all week long through many dangers, through many toils, through many snares. God has been good to us to keep us, to watch over us, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him dominion. Please give him majesty tonight for his hand that is upon your life. Yes, the Lord is good all the time. He provides, he protects, and will bless his name for it. And you know what? He doesn't charge us a penny for all the good things that he does for us. Oh, Lord God, how grateful we are. How great thou art. We give you glory. Thank him for the four declarations that we prayed on yesterday. How powerful, how glorious they were. We were able to really call on God. And God came down and answered our prayers. Thank him again for the life of David. Because God has used him to draw us closer to God. Based on the things he says with his own mouth, based on the things he prays on his own knees. Father, we thank you for those four declarations of last night. And we thank you for the great shepherd that you are. You give the best to your own children. And we all can testify that you've been good to us. You've given us the best. And the best of the best is what you have in mind for us. Father, we thank you in advance for the prayers of tonight that we are embarking on. We shall not lack anything we pray for. We declare that right now. We thank you in advance that anything that we ask of you tonight, we shall not lack. Anything we ask of you tonight, you will provide. Anything we ask of you tonight, you will do for us. 
I want you to say, Lord, I thank you in advance for that. I bless you in advance for that. I worship you in advance for that. I glorify you in advance for that. I shall lack nothing that I ask of you tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Spirit of God will give us appropriate prayer points on all these eight declarations that we are considering in prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, we depend on you tonight. Spirit of the living God, without you we can do nothing. We pray that you will give us appropriate prayer points for all these eight topics that we want to call on God for tonight. Our greatest problems, we want to move them out of the way as we begin. O oh Lord God of holiness, O oh Lord God of righteousness, we pray that sin and unbelief, doubt and double-mindedness, iniquity and unrighteousness, you will remove far from us so they will not hinder us tonight. Father, we pray for forgiveness for every sin of omission. We pray for forgiveness for every sin of commission tonight. Whatever it is that we have done in thought, in word, and in deed today, we ask that you will cleanse us. We ask that you will wash us. We ask that you will purge us. We ask that you will purify us. Spirit of God, cleanse us tonight. Let the blood of Jesus avail for us. We plead the blood tonight. Yes, Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. Father, let the blood, let the blood speak for us tonight in cleansing us, in washing us, in purging us, in purifying us of every sin and of every iniquity. Father, we ask you that you would deliver us from double-mindedness. You would deliver us from doubt. Because let that man think he will receive nothing. He cannot receive anything from the Lord. We realize that if we don't trust you, if we don't believe you, we will not be established and we will not receive anything of God. So cleanse us not just of sin, Papa, cleanse us of doubt, cleanse us of unbelief. What we pray for, let us believe you for. Let us believe that you will hear us and you will answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. Papa, Papa, we need strength. Oh, please give us strength to pray tonight. Give me strength to lead these prayers tonight. Give your people strength to pray these prayers tonight. And as we pray, help us to be focused. As we pray, help us to be focused. Oh, Lord, I ask that one more time that as we pray and as we call upon you, Lord, you will help us to be focused in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, just have your way. I pray for my friends in faraway land, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in, uh, in Botswana, in South Africa, in East Africa, in Kenya. I pray, Lord God, that all these people who are supposed to be sleeping by now, and they are awake. I pray that you will keep them awake in Nigeria. You will keep them a lot. And you keep them focused on these prayers. That it will do them good. And Lord, I pray for them. That the sacrifice that they are sacrificing by staying up. It will lead to great fruits in their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, lead us on. As we take these eight points one by one. Beginning with fear. Father, we decree tonight. Everybody say, I decree. Yes, say, I decree. Open your mouth and say, I decree. The fear of evil shall have no place in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree for myself and I decree for my friends that are praying with me tonight. The fear of evil shall have no place in our lives in the name of Jesus. We banish the fear of evil from our lives. Fear of any kind, I shall not want for fearlessness. Oh Lord, let us be fearless. Let us not be looking for how shall we be fearless? How shall we be fearless? Let it be part of parcel of our lives. Father, you know us. You know how many of us are filled with fear. You know how many of us are troubled by fear. We come before you today that you will take the power of fear. You will break the power of fear from our lives in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I decree for myself and I decree for my entire life that is left on the face of the earth, that fear will have no place in my life in the name of Jesus. 
while others are fearful, while others are running and, uh, and, and they are so, so out of their minds in fear. Oh Lord, I pray that I will remain calm. I will remain composed. I want you to pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. Say, let me walk through the valleys and hills of life without fear of anything. Yes. Life is full of valleys. Life is full of mountains. It's full of hills. I want you to pray that no matter what befalls you, whether you are in the valley or you are on the mountain top, that you will live your life free, free, free from fear of anything, from fear of everything, in the name of Jesus. Papa, touch us tonight. Papa, touch us tonight. We know what fear has done in our lives. We know what damage fear has done in the past. Papa, let me walk through the valleys and the hills of this life uh, without fear of anything, without fear of everything in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, guide our feet, guide our brain. Uh, take care of those two areas in our lives uh, that our head will be free from fear, that our feet will not walk in the path of fear. Oh Lord, let me walk through the valleys and the hills of life uh, without fear of anything, without fear of anyone, without fear of everything. Let the fear of death never keep me in bondage in the name of Jesus. Because there are people who every day they are afraid of death. What's going to happen if I die now? What's going to happen after I die now? I'm afraid I may die. I want you to pray tonight. Fear of death shall not be part of your lifestyle. Fear of death will not be your portion. Say, oh Lord, let the fear of death not keep me in bondage. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray tonight that the fear of death will not keep you in bondage. In the name of Jesus, that the valley of the shadow of death is, will only be a shadow to you. It will not be death. I want you to pray that death that is not there, the Lord will not let you double into it. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from needless fears. Set me free from needless fears. You know how many times we get afraid and we're so petrified only to find out that what we're afraid of is actually nothing. I want you to pray tonight, Lord, touch me tonight, deliver me tonight, Lord, set me free tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the fear of tomorrow, the fear of today, the fear of what I know, the fear of what I don't know, Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. There are so many fear not, fear Fear not, fear not in the Bible. Uh, and we disobey that so many times. Uh, I pray, Lord God, that I will be obedient. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Uh, say, Lord, help me to be obedient to your admonition to fear not. Uh, help me to be obedient to your admonition not to be afraid. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray tonight, whatever you are afraid of, say, I break loose from your hand. Uh, whatever it is you are afraid of right now, I want you to mention it to God. Uh, say, Lord, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of that one. I want you to deliver me and break me free and break me loose and rescue me from being afraid of this and that tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying where you are tonight that the Lord will help you not to be afraid of anything. In the name of Jesus, let me walk through the valleys. Let me walk through the hills of this life with fear of nothing in me. In the name of Jesus, fear of death, fear of catching a disease, fear of catching even coronavirus, even at this time. In the name of Jesus, Father, remove it from me, remove it from us. Fear whatever we are afraid of, fear of having cancer, fear of having diabetes, fear of having kidney failure, whatever you are afraid of, I want you to mention it to God and say, God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from fear of this, mention what this is. From fear of that, mention what that is. Father, just rescue us, O Lord. Let the fear of death not keep us in bondage. Let the fear of sickness not keep us in bondage. Let the fear of being broke not keep us in bondage. Let the fear of this, let the fear of that mention this and that to God. I reject them. I refuse them. I shall not be in bondage to any one of them in the name of Jesus. You know, many of us have tendencies to be afraid. Many of us have tendencies to worry. Many of us have tendencies to be anxious. Say, Lord, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away from me right now. Take away from me all tendencies. 
to be afraid, all tendencies to worry, all tendencies to be anxious. Papa, break that yoke from my life. Papa, break that yoke from my life. Papa, remove it from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all tendencies, all leanings, all leanings to fear, all leanings to worry, all leanings to anxiety. Papa, break the yoke from my life. Remove it from my life completely, O Holy Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There is a spirit, people, called the spirit of fear. Say, I reject. Come on, open your mouth. Say, I reject. Come on, open your mouth. Say, I reject. Say, I reject the activity of the spirit of fear in my life. I am not your candidate. Say, I reject the activity of the spirit of fear in my life. I am not your candidate. I will not be your candidate. I am not your candidate. I will not be your candidate. I am not your candidate. Spirit of fear. Spirit of fear. You will not rule my life. Spirit of fear. You will not control my life. Spirit of fear. You will not have any dominion over me. All activities. I said all activities of the spirit of of fear. Be gone from my life. I reject you. I reject your control. In the name of Jesus. Father, we Where fear has trampled me under feet, I take dominion over fear and I trample it under feet in the name of Jesus. I trample fear under feet. I trample fear under feet. I am not your candidate. Be under my foot fear. All fears that I've entertained up till this time, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. From tonight on, oh Lord, from tonight onwards, help me to walk in boldness and soundness of mind. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I say from this evening, help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus, to walk in boldness, to walk in soundness of mind. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Papa, touch me tonight to walk in boldness, to walk in soundness of mind, to walk free from fear. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to to say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, help me never to forget that he who has God beside him has nothing to be afraid of. Papa, help me never to forget, oh, hey, that he who has God beside him has nothing to be afraid of, has no one to be afraid of. Papa, I have your presence with me. I have your, your person with me. Father, I know I have your person and I have your presence with me. So I have nothing to be afraid of. Break the yoke of fear. Break the power of fear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, help us tonight. Come and call on God for help. Fear is our greatest problem. Oh, fear. Do you know how many people fear has killed? Oh Lord, I will not die in the hand of fear. In the name of Jesus, I will not die in the hand of fear. In the name of Jesus, help me never to forget that you are beside me, oh God. And when you are beside me, why is there, there's nothing to be afraid of. But I remember the apostles. You were in that boat with them sleeping and they were afraid that they were going to sink. Knowing that you are in the boat, how can they sink? Lord, I pray that fear, 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 fear that makes me doubt your presence. That makes me not appreciate who I am in you and what I have with you and what I have in you. Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let me never forget, Papa, let me never forget, Papa, let me never forget that he who has God beside them has everything, has God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, you have not given me the spirit of fear. So spirit of fear be gone from me. I bind the spirit of fear and I banish the spirit of fear. Come and open your mouth and let's talk to the Lord tonight. Say I banish the spirit of fear. Say I bind the spirit of fear. Say I banish the spirit of fear. Say I bind the spirit of fear. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are beside me. There's no fear that can stand beside me. In the name of Jesus. Help me not to live as if God is not my God. Help me not to live as if you are a powerless God. Help me not to live as if you are not a caring God. Oh Lord, I rest in you free from fear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's move to the next one. Come 
companionship. Say a decree in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. We are going to point number two. A decree in the name of Jesus. I shall never lack divine companionship in this my life. Oh, hey. Say by the grace of God. Mm. I shall never lack divine companionship in this life. They, Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, we will not go. Say, oh Lord, let me always have your presence with me at all times. Let me always have your presence with you as I travel through this life. As I travel through this life, oh God. As I journey through this life, oh God. I decree I shall never, never, never lack divine companionship in my life. In the name of Jesus, abide with me, stand by me, be my companion, be my ever-present companion in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, be with me, oh God, through thick and thin. Be with me, oh Lord, through ups and downs of this life in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, Papa, be with me, stand by me. Papa, be with me, stand by me. I shall never lack of the presence of God. I shall never lack the companionship of God. Oh Lord, be with me through thick, be with me through thin, be with me through up, be with me through down, be with me in the valley, be with me on the hilltop. Oh Lord, be there, be there, be there, be there, be there, be there, be there for me, oh Lord. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, when all men forsake me, let your presence always be with me. When father and mother leave me, when husband and wife leave me, oh Lord, be there, be there, be there, be there, never leave me, never forsake me. When all men, when all women, when family members, when co-workers, when ministry workers, when they forsake me, O oh God, let your presence always be with me. Let your presence always abide with me. Let your presence always be with me. Papa, if any man forsakes me, I can still make it because you are by my side. But when you forsake me, if you forsake me, then I'm forsaken. O oh Lord God, never forsake me when men forsake me. Whenever forsake me. Even when men are there, O oh Lord, even when men are there with their sweet words, just be there too, in the name of Jesus. Papa, help me not to depend on the presence of men. Help me to depend on the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, when all men forsake me, let your presence always be with me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the God of comfort. Let's go to the God of comfort. Say a decree tonight. In the name of Jesus, the God of all comfort comfort will always be my companion. Yes, say God of all comfort, always be my companion. I decree it, I decree it, I decree it, I decree it, I decree it. The God of all comfort will always be my companion. How can I have him and not be comforted at all times? God of all comfort, God of all comfort, God of all comfort, be by my side, stand by my side, walk with me, talk with me, walk with me, talk with me, sleep with me, wake with me. In the name of Jesus, go in with me, go out with me, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, comfort, 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 comfort. Papa, let me not lack comfort. Come on, open your mouth, say I decree tonight. I will never lack comfort. Papa, I will never lack comfort. In the name of Jesus, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I want you to pray tonight. Let your rod, let your staff always comfort me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that the correction of your rod, the correction of your rod, and the protection of your staff, let it never depart from my daily life. That's what the rod and the staff are for. The rod... For, for correction, the staff for protection. I want you to pray tonight. It's today that we see shepherds carrying guns. They never carried gun in those days. They carried their staff. I want you to pray tonight. The rod, the rod for correction, the staff for protection. Let it never depart from my daily life. 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 My daily life. The correction of your rod, the protection of your staff, the correction of your rod, 
God, the protection of your staff. Let it never depart from my life. In the name of Jesus, he said, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Oh God, how wonderful will it be if I can see the correction of God and be comforted by it. If I can see the protection of God and be comforted by it. Say, oh Lord, let me not be one of those that get angry when they are corrected. Let me not be one of those that don't find comfort from the protection of God that have to look for protection from voodoo and from juju. Oh Lord, let me rest in you for protection. Let me rest in you for correction. Let me be happy when I'm corrected. Let me be happy when I'm chastened so I don't go astray, so I don't fall into the dish. Oh Lord, your rod. Oh Lord, your staff. Oh Lord, your rod. Oh Lord, your staff. Let them never depart from my life. Let them bring me daily comfort, daily comfort, daily comfort. Comfort me, O oh Lord, with your rod. Comfort me, O oh Lord, with your staff. Day in, day out, day in, day out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your rod be there always. Let your rod be there always, O oh God. Let your staff be there always, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That tread a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I shall not want, say a decree. In this life, I shall be sustained by God's divine provision. Say I decree it, I decree it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I decree it in the name of the Father. I decree it in the name of the Son that in this my life, oh, I shall always be sustained by God's divine provision. My provision will never dry up. Oh, Lord, your provision for my life in the name of Jesus, your provision for my life, it shall never dry up. It will never dry up. It must never dry up in the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying by faith tonight that divine provision for us, for our families, for our ministries, for our businesses. Oh God, divine provision shall never dry up in our lives. Oh God, I decree that in this my life, I shall always be sustained by God's divine provision. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, tables, 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 tables that are full of divine provision. Let them never depart from my life. Let them never depart from my household. I've been young and now I'm old. Old. Hallelujah. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Father, in this my family, Father, in this my house, let there be tables full of divine provision. Let it be full, let it be full, let it be full. Divine provision on my table in the name of Jesus. My enemies, let them see in my life how great a provider you are. Yes, Lord. Let my enemies, let them always see abundance of divine provision and let them see how great a provider my God is. Oh Lord, please do it. Because David said, you set a table before him, but it's not in, just in the presence of his friends, because a man that has food has many friends, but he said even his enemies saw it. Father, let my enemies begin to see it. Let my enemies from the village, let my enemies from the city, let my enemies from the town, let my enemies from my immediate family, let my enemies from my extended family, let them see provision. Ay, yeah, yeah. Let them see provision in the name of Jesus. Let them see provision, abundant provision, Tables full of provision. Tables full of divine provision. Let them never depart from my household, O oh God. Let them never depart from my household, O oh God. Let my enemies see in my life how great a provider my God is. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let my enemies always see in my life how mighty a provider you are. How great a provider you are. How glorious a provider you are. How generous a provider you are. Papa, do it to the glory of your name. Do it to the honor of your name do it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Lord 
Lord, my enemies must see you. Let them open their eyes and see clear, clear, clearly that my life, the God I'm serving, is a great provider in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I ask you to pray another prayer? Those who want you to be without, let them be forced to come and eat at my table. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, those who want me to be without, force them to come and eat at my table. In the name of Jesus. Those who look at me and say I'm nothing. Those who look at me and say I have nothing. Papa, bring them, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, force them, oh Lord. Papa, compel them, oh God, to come and beg at my table. I will not do what the rich man did. I will not give them the crown. I will make them sit and feed them. Oh Lord, bring them from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Let them come and see wonder, 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 wonder. Let them come and see that my God is a wonderful provider. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Did you not say we will not borrow? Did you not say we will lend to many nations? That's abundant supply. Oh Lord, abundantly supply for me that I will lend. Not to people alone, but to nations. Father, bless my hand, oh Lord with plenty. Bless my hand, O Lord, with overflowing blessing. In the name of Jesus, in the presence of my enemies, let me have abundant supply. In the presence of my enemies, Papa, 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 let me have abundant supply. In the presence of all my enemies, O God, abundant supply. Locate me. Abundant supply. Locate me. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. I hope you are praying where you are, O abundant supply. In the presence of my enemies, Look at me by fire. Look at me by force. Look at me by fire. Look at me by force. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray prayer? Sometimes they say the economy is bad. Sometimes they say there is recession. Sometimes they say bad things about the, res- about the economy. Go on to pray that, oh Lord, no matter how bad things are in my country, no matter how hard things are in my country, no matter how dry things are where I live, let me always we have abundant supply in the name of Jesus. While others are crying recession, let me be crying abundant supply in the name of Jesus. While others are crying famine, let me be crying abundant supply. Oh Lord God, let me not be touched by what touches others. Let me not be touched by poverty that touches others. Let me be touched, oh Lord, by super abundant supply in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. While others know famine, while others know lack, while others know any of those things, I shall not know them, I shall not experience them, I shall experience rather the abundant supply of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what is dry around me, oh Lord, let it be abundance on me, in the name of Jesus, he anointed my head with oil, that's what he says, so let's make that decree as we pray that prayer, Say a decree. Open your mouth and decree it. Say a decree that by the grace of God, I shall not want for anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. By the grace of God, I shall not want for anointing. By the grace of God, I shall not want for anointing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, by your grace. Father, by your power. Father, by your might. I shall not want for anointing, O God. I shall not want for anointing, O God. In the name of Jesus. By your grace. Fresh anointing. Fall on me right now. Fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fresh anointing of power, fresh anointing of glory, fresh anointing, O oh God. Let it fall upon me right now, fresh anointing from heaven. Let it fall upon me, O oh Lord, by your grace. I shall not want for anointing fresh. Let your anointing be fresh upon my life. Let your anointing be brand new upon my life. I want you to pray that the anointing that destroys you, because it said this anointing destroys yokes. I want you to pray for that anointing right now. Say, O oh Lord. Anointing that destroys yokes from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, descend. Descend on me right now. Any yoke upon my life, let it be destroyed. Any power that is troubling me, let them be destroyed. The anointing that destroys yokes, let it go into uh, money yokes. Let it go, oh Lord, into sickness yokes. Let it go into bad dream yokes. Whatever yoke is on me right now, anointing destroy. Anointing destroy. Any yoke holding my neck, any yoke holding my money, any yoke holding
holding my marriage, any you holding my love life, any you holding anything that belongs to me, O Lord, anointing that destroys yokes, anointing that destroys yokes, anointing that destroys yokes from my top of my head to the soles of my feet. Please destroy, please destroy, please destroy, please destroy, please destroy the anointing that destroys yokes. Come upon my life in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are ministers, and even if you are not a minister, why don't you pray tonight that God will help you to minister in the anointing of the Holy Ghost? Say, Oh Lord, grace to minister in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pour that anointing upon me right now to minister in the power of God, to minister in the Spirit of God. Oh Lord, let the anointing to do what natural ability cannot do. Empower me to do it by your anointing. In the name of Jesus, anoint me, Holy Ghost, to do what natural ability, natural wisdom cannot empower me to do. In the name of Jesus, anointing for exploits, anointing for exploits, anointing for exploits. I pray for it right now. I receive it right now. I walk in it right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, anoint me to do what natural ability cannot empower me to do. Oh, Lord God, transform my life by the anointing. Papa, transform my life by your anointing. Papa, transform my ministry by your anointing. Papa, transform my tongue by your anointing. When the coal of fire anointed the tongue of Isaiah, what happened? He turned into another man. Father, anoint my tongue. Anoint my eyes. Anoint my thoughts. Anoint my imaginations. Oh, Lord God, anoint me to do what natural ability cannot empower me to do. Your oil tonight. Pour your oil upon me tonight. Let you remove dryness. Let you remove dryness from all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your oil on me, O Lord. Let your oil on me, O Lord. Be so much. Be so mighty. Be so plenty. Be so overflowing that dryness, 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 dryness will dry up from every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What about signs and wonders, people? Say, oh Lord, anoint me for signs. Papa, anoint me for wonders. Papa, anoint me for signs. Come on, open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, he pours the oil upon me. He anointed my head with oil. Papa, anoint my life. Papa, anoint my hands. Papa, anoint my head for signs and for wonders in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh Lord, anoint me for signs and for wonders. Oh Papa, anoint me for signs and for wonders. Oh Lord, anoint me for signs and for wonders. Oh Lord, anoint me for signs and for wonders. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for blessing tonight. I want you to pray for blessing tonight. Say a decree that my life, in my life, I shall not lack blessing where I need blessing. Are you praying that with me tonight? Are you praying that for yourself tonight? Say I decree it in the name of Jesus that where I need blessing, I shall not lack blessing. Say this my life oh, from tonight on shall not lack the blessings of God. The blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. Papa I decree that this life of mine in the name of Jesus shall not lack blessing where I need blessing. Papa Papa, you know my life, oh, you know where I lack. Father, every area of my life where I lack, I pray you will arise right now. I shall not lack blessing where I need blessing. I decree it in the name of the Father. I decree it in the name of the Son. I decree it in the name of the Holy Ghost. Where I need blessing, I shall be blessed. I will be blessed. I must be blessed. Oh, Lord, all past, present, and future causes, because uh, the opposite of blessing is is cursed. Yes, the opposite of blessing is curse. So we want to go after causes now. All past causes, all present causes, all future causes must be sent away, sent away, sent away from my way, sent away from my way. I command all play, all causes to turn into blessings in my life. 
In the name of Jesus, Papa, let all causes turn into blessings in my life, O oh Lord. Let all causes turn into blessings in my life, O oh God. Come on, open your mouth and let's talk to this great God that all curses will be turned into blessings in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the present, in the future, whatever comes my way, let it be turned into blessing. Whatever curses are thrown at me, let them be turned into blessings. Oh Lord, make me blessed. Make my family blessed. Make my household blessed. Make my children blessed. In the name of Jesus, your blessing anointing, let it come upon my life and transform any area of my life where I'm having challenges right now. You know what I'm talking about. Say, oh Lord, any and every area of my life where I'm having one challenge or another, but but turn it into blessing. Anointing of blessing be my portion. Anointing of blessing come upon me. Anointing for blessing come upon me. I want you to stretch out your hand as we pray this next prayer. Say, I stretch my hands before you, O Lord. Load me with your blessings, O Lord. Papa, load your blessings into my hand. Financial blessings, good health blessings, every blessing that is good for mankind. Papa, release it. Papa, release them. Papa, release them. As I stretch my hands before you this evening, load my hand with your blessing, O Lord. Load my hand overflowing. Let it fill my finger. Let it fill my hand and let it overflow. In the name of Jesus, every area of my life, my father, my father, every area of my life, let it be filled up. Let it overflow with your blessing. I said every area of our lives, O God, let them be filled up. Let them be overflowing with the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for your children wherever they may be, for your grandchildren wherever they may be. Overflowing blessing shall be for every member of your family in the name of Jesus. Father, every area of our lives, every area of our family lives, every area of our marital lives, every area of our business life, oh Lord, every area of our ministerial life, fill them up, overflow them with your blessing. Father, fill them up. Father, overflow them with your blessing. I shall not want. Let's go to the next point. I shall not want for abundance. Say I decree. You see, blessing runs into abundance. So not only are we blessed, we are blessed abundantly. Hallelujah. Say I decree in the name of Jesus. Say I decree in the name of Jesus. I shall not want for abundance. 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 I decree it in the name of the Father. I decree it in the name of the Son. I decree it in the name of the Holy Ghost. I decree that from tonight, I shall not want for abundance. Abundance shall be my portion. I shall be abundantly blessed. I want you to summon them, summon them, summon them, summon them, summon them. Say, oh Lord, I summon your goodness and your mercy to begin following me day and night. Goodness and mercy, I summon you to begin following me day and night. Everywhere I go, follow me there. Everywhere I go, in and out, follow me there. I summon you goodness. I summon you goodness. I summon you mercy. Oh Lord God, release these two mighty angels to follow me. Goodness, follow me. Mercy, 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 follow me. Come on, pray, 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 pray. What you cry for is what God will give you tonight. What you call for is what God will give you tonight. Say, mercy, begin to follow me. Say, mercy, begin to follow me. Say, goodness, begin to follow me. I want you to talk as if you are talking to a personality. I want you to talk as if you are talking to a person. Say, goodness, where are you? Mercy, where are you? Pack up your load and begin to follow me everywhere I go. In the name of Jesus, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. Where there has been a break in your followership of me, I pray that the break will be mended. Oh Lord, I summon your goodness. I summon your mercy. I summon your goodness. Let them begin to follow me all the days of my life. I shall have that which God is. I shall have that which God has. I shall have that which God is. God is a God of mercy. God is a God of goodness. All the days of my life, I shall have who God is. I shall have what God has. I shall have what God gives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Papa, beginning to day and the rest of my life. I don't know how many days you have left for me. I don't know how many days I have to live. But Lord God, let the rest of my life 
be the best of my life. Papa, let the rest of my life be the best of my life. Open your mouth. Let the rest of my life be the best of my life. Having goodness, having mercy, having goodness, having mercy. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, all the days of my life, I shall always have that which is of God. I shall always have that which God is. Mercy of God shall never dry up in my life. Pray, 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 pray tonight. What you ask God to do is what God will do. Oh Lord, your mercy shall never dry up in my life. Your mercy shall never dry up in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say all, not some. Say all, not many. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The mercy of God shall never dry up in my life. The mercy of God shall never dry up in my life. Just like the anointing of God shall never dry up on my head. Say evil spirit may follow others. Yes. Say evil spirits may follow others. But only the angels of goodness and the angels of mercy shall follow me. I decree that for myself. Whatever has been following me right now that is contrary to goodness, that is contrary to mercy, disperse, be gone, disperse, be gone, disperse, be gone, disperse, be gone. Get thee behind me and be gone from me. Evil spirits may follow other people. Oh Lord, bad luck may follow other people. But only angels of mercy, angels of goodness, come and begin to follow me everywhere I go. Begin to follow me in this country. Begin to follow me outside this country. I decree in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you shall be my daily companion. You shall be my constant companion. You shall be my daily companion. You shall be my constant companion. In the name of Jesus, whatever foul spirit, Whatever familiar spirit has followed me up till now, I retire you by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil spirits may follow them, but good spirits will follow me. Spirit of goodness, spirit of mercy, spirit of goodness, spirit of mercy. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me for interviews. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me for jobs. Follow me for contracts. Follow me for hospital good health. Follow me for doctor's office examination. Goodness and mercy be there for me. Goodness and mercy be there for me. When trouble comes, goodness and mercy be there. Hallelujah. When lack comes, goodness and mercy be there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that battles against God's mercy, battles against God's goodness in your life will expire right now. In the name of Jesus. Forces that rise up and say you will not experience God's mercy. Forces that rise up and say you will not experience God's goodness. May they expire by fire. May they expire by fire. May they expire by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy shall follow me and I will dwell. That's the last point. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. That is spiritual stability. Say a decree. I shall not lack spiritual stability. Say a decree. I shall not lack spiritual stability. Say my father, we are already staggering. Oh Lord, make me stable. Papa, hold my hand. Papa, hold my leg. Papa, hold my life. And make me stable. Make me stable. Make me stable. Make me spiritually stable. Pray, 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 pray. Make me spiritually stable. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for other kinds of stability. Financially stable. Maritally stable. I want you to pray. Oh, hey, you will not be a wanderer. You will not be a wanderer. Wandering from re- left to right. Oh, Lord, stabilize me. Stabilize me. Stabilize me. Stabilize me. Stabilize me in your house. Stabilize me on my job. Have you ever seen people that cannot keep a job for one month? Stabilize me always. In my marriage, stabilize me. Many, many marry and divorce. Marry and divorce. Never stable. Oh, Lord, stabilize me. Stabilize me. Stabilize me. Papa, stabilize me. Stabilize me. Stabilize me. Let me be numbered among those who, who, who are stable. In the name of Jesus. Who are stable with God. Spiritual stability. Stability in prayer. Stability in fasting. Stability in your house. Oh Lord, let me not be numbered among those who run from your house. Did you hear what I said? They are not stable in the house of the Lord. They are always running from the house of the Lord. Say, oh Lord, let me not be numbered among those who flee from the house of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. There's a group of people I want us to pray. Oh, you know what? I want to pray for them that they will be restored. They will be restored. Those that the enemy have used coronavirus to make them abandon the house of God. I know many people who, I know many people in my own church and in other churches outside my church that after coronavirus, they never went back to church. And David said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Virus or no virus, I want us to pray for them. I'm not even here to judge them. No, I just want us to pray for them and plead to God. Say, oh Lord, those that have used coronavirus to abandon your house, Papa, bring them back, bring them back, bring them back, wherever they used to go to church, wherever they used to be active and now they just sit at home on Sunday morning oh Lord all the lethargy all the coldness oh Lord remove it from them restore them restore them restore them those that have used coronavirus to abandon your house those that the virus has turned into into heathens they just stay at home in the name they say we are Christians now we are Christians how can you say you are a Christian and you and you refuse fellowship with other believers I want you to pray for them oh Lord touch them come convict them, bring them back to your house. I'm sorry, I have to pray the next prayer. Say, oh Lord, whatever you have to use, use it to make them run to your house. Whatever you want to use, whatever method will work, Father, use it to make them run back to your house. Restore them, restore them, restore them. Those that have used coronavirus to abandon the house of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray one more prayer for you and that God will give you a made up mind to serve and to worship God all the days of your life. Say, oh Lord, give me a mind that is made up. I got my mind made up. I got my mind made up. I want you to pray tonight. Let my mind be made up to serve you. Let my mind be made up to worship you. Let my mind be made up to be in your house all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stability. Stability in your house. Spiritual stability. In the name of Jesus. And every form of stability. Father, give it to me, O Lord, with my mind made up to serve you. With my mind made up to worship you. I want you to begin to thank God for answering prayers tonight. Hey, hey, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you for these 12 declarations of David. They are powerful. Oh, Lord, I shall not want in any of these areas. Thank him for answering your prayers. Thank him for giving you the desires of your hearts. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless you for tonight. We thank you for answering our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Let's go to our seven prayer requests. Remember, today is Friday. I want you to t lift up your prayer requests and say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you for the prayers already answered among these seven requests. Oh, Lord, I thank you and I bless you and I worship you. I couldn't answer half of these prayers. Half of one of them I cannot answer. Talk of one of them. Talk less of one of them. Oh, Lord, thank you for the ones you have answered. Now make a decree, make a decree, make a decree. I shall not want for testimonies concerning this request. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by the grace of God. Say by the grace of God. I shall not want for testimonies concerning this prayer request, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I decree it. I shall not want for testimonies concerning this request. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray another prayer. Say, O oh Lord, let your goodness and mercy orchestrate answers to these prayers. O oh Lord, your goodness, your mercy, let them orchestrate answers to this prayer request. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, let it be your goodness that does it. Let it be your mercy that does it. That these seven prayer requests you will answer them one by one by your mercy, by your goodness, by your kindness, by your favor. Answer these prayers favorably, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer? Say, O oh Lord, take this request. Yes, say it. Say, O oh Lord, take my request from the dry pastures of unanswered prayers. Mm -hmm. From the dry pastures of unanswered prayers to the green pastures of answered prayers. Oh Lord, there, let there be a transformation. Let there be a transfer. Let there be a transformation from the dry pastures of unanswered prayers to the green pastures of answered prayers. I want you to pray, Lord, let me experience the comfort, the comfort
comfort, the comfort that comes from answers to these prayers. Let me enjoy the joy. Let me enjoy the comfort that comes from answers to these prayers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and begin to say, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Come on, let's just give God the praise. Let's God give God the honor. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him dominion. Let's give him the majesty for answering these prayers for us. We glorify you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We adore you, Lord, for what you have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I bless you, my brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The God who answered David as he made these declarations and made some 23 reality in his life. May that same God do the same thing for you. May that same God do the same thing for me. All the I shall not want, I shall not want, I shall not lack. I pray that to become reality in your life. All these dozen declarations, may they turn into multitudes of answers for us. And all that you are prayed for concerning your seven requests, may God grant them to you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. And everybody said amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Don't forget, all our announcements remain the same. Nothing has changed. And we expect that you will please avail yourself to all the different programs that we have ahead of us. Shall we share the grace before we go home tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. Go home and lack nothing. Bye-bye.